This is a little help in the 4.38 worksheet. Specifically, we're going to look at two of the proofs. And you should try them on your own first. Start uh, seeing if you're getting better at them or not. But we are going to look at number five. If I can scroll to get it here. There we go. Number five. So, let's do this as we've always been doing it. What we do, I'm going to grab my highlighter here when we're writing a proof. Uh, this one, we don't have to put um, our given down and state the given. We already are being told that we're going to have to get angle, included side angle, to prove that. So let's go fill in our last statement here with what we're supposed to prove. We're supposed to prove that triangle A, B, D, let's go look at that one, E, D, D. This one over here on the left is congruent to triangle C, B, D. All right, so we have the one on the left and we have the one on the right over here. It's kind of important to see that that green thing just turned green right there. I bet that's going to be in my proof, right? That shared side. So let's go take a look. It says in the given. We aren't given any explicit angles. We're given that we have perpendicular, which means meet at right angles, which means I know that that's a right angle and I know that that's a right angle. Okay? So, how we, the reason I'm doing this one with you is because sometimes it gets a little fuzzy um, as to how you explain that those are congruent. So, that's why I chose number five. B, D, bisects, know what that word means, that we're going to have some definition of bisecting here. What angle does it bisect? A, B, C, this one at the top. So I know this has to be the same as this. Well, I can already see why I have angle, side, angle. It's pretty clear to me, right? I'll grab a different color here for my uh, pencil, if I can find it. Grab a blue. I've got the right angle the shared side, and this angle up at B on the yellow, and then I have the right angle, the shared side, and the angle up at B again on the blue and on the yellow. So I definitely am convinced that I can get my angle side angle. So let's have our proof lead us there. What does it mean for angles, or uh, lines to be perpendicular? It means that those angles down there, the one at A, to D to B, where you see that little right angle box, and angle C to D to B, my little angle symbol, are right angles. How do I know that? They're perpendicular. Well, if they're right angles, they have to be congruent. And I guess a reason for that would be all right angles are congruent. They all measure 90. So th that's why I chose this proof. That little piece in there, it's a little, I guess, for the uh, ambiguous, right? But number four, you should be really good at angle A, B, D, this one with the dot in it up here, and this other one. Why are they the same? Because I knew what that word meant. And when I know what a word means, I write definition of bicep. They're telling me the reflexive property. I probably think a lot of you, you're getting good at this one, to be, than me to be told that BD is congruent to itself. And let's put those signifiers over it. So when we're done, again, we have the right angles because the lines were perpendicular, the shared side with some reflexive, and I told the angle got bisected, so that made two other congruent angles. So that's my first one I'm doing with you. My next one is, ooh, these on the back are, there's no steps given, so you kind of have to have your ducks in a row or your hoop and hoop down here. Um, so let's go look at number nine. It's hard to scroll when I have my screen cast on. So here we go, number nine is right here. And we're in a section on angle side angle, so I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm gonna be leading myself there. 
So let's go make our first statement. And while we're doing it, we'll kind of see what that tells us on the diagram. F into J out to G. F whoops, into J out to G. So that's right where that right arc is, right there. This is the exact same measure as angle H, G, J. That's a three pair of angles. I'm going to go put a little A over here. So I know they gave me a three pair right there. And say thank you. This guy and this guy are congruent by given. Also in the given, I was given that I've got parallel lines. And I've been telling you that that's a trigger for you using the alternate interior angle theorem. Two lines cut by a transversal create alternate interior angles that are congruent. So angle Let's go and put that on our proof right there. Might as well. You know we're going to have to use it. We need another angle, right? So let's do angle. Let's go name this one right here that I'm putting it on in. H into J up to G would have to be congruent to angle F to G to J. Why? Because of the alternate interior angle theory. Number three. All right, so let's kind of revisit what we have. We were given a three pair of angles. Because we were told two lines were parallel up there, we were able to logically conclude that alternate interior angles are the same. So it looks like I need to supply the side between them. Oh, there it is again, that reflexive property for the shared side. Somebody in my second hour asked me, how do I know in a step like this that these two letters get switched? And I said, well, because up here in the statement, you can see G is second, J is third, and then on this one. Now, if you didn't notice that, I at this point, I don't mark anything wrong. But I would say again, by the reflexive property. Now I get to be done. I got my angle that was given Another angle from my alternate interior and the side connecting the two was reflexive. So I'm done. I need to stop and say, I have proved this. F, G, J is congruent to triangle H, J, G. Never, ever, ever, ever end a proof with the word proof. And I've been saying, if I ask somebody, how do I know these triangles are the same? And you would to say, by proof, that doesn't make any sense. If you were to say, by angle, side, angle, that makes sense to me. If you were to say, by side, 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 that makes sense to me. All right, so that's all that I'm doing for you. You guys have a great one.